Hey, Deanna, thanks for inviting us on this call. Hi, Jay and Scott. I'm so excited to chat with you today and help students level up using VR. Jay, I know that you specialize in VR and language applications and that you work with schools, but what we want to do today is open students' minds on how to have a higher retention of language skills and be more engaged. So my first question to you will be like, what is it about VR that makes language learning immersive? Oh, so much in there. So we opened our com company, Virtual Education Exploration VEDEX for this very reason. Um, I took seven years of Arabic and language was never meant for the classroom because it's rote memorization, it's textbooks, it's quizzes, it's tests, that's not learning language. Learning language is an immersive experience, but not everybody has the chance to travel to another country or culture to learn that language. So at VEDEX, our team is dedicated to that access to immersion. Uh, there's lots of stuff out there, but uh, coming around to VR, your retention goes from about 5% long-term memory to 75% long-term retention when you immerse yourself in a situation to learn your language. Wow, that's an amazing statistic. But tell me, how does a student begin learning in VR? Well, there's lots of, lots of ways. Uh, not everybody has access to a VR headset and that is absolutely okay. You're gonna hear a little bit later uh, from one of our top uh, language learning in VR immersive apps called Immerse Me, but we'll get to that in a second. How does a student start? Well, pretty easy. They can reach out to us. Uh, we can get them all set up. We even have uh, our own Global XR Academy where uh, we enroll them in, in apps such as Immerse Me to help them through that, that language learning experience. Okay, but if I needed a headset, where can I get one? Lots of places. They're available globally on Amazon. However, uh, depending on your country, you can always reach out and we can help facilitate that if you aren't able to obtain a headset, but you really want one. That sounds perfect. So based on what you're saying, I can see that there are like two different types of environment, 2D and 3D. Could you explain mm -hmm. to me a little bit about the difference between them? Sure. What you see behind me is a 3D image, but you're viewing it in 2D, which is your flat computer screen. Uh, but you could visit this two-dimensional image behind me in three dimensions with a set of goggles, but not everybody has those goggles available or the um, uh, cost is prohibitive. So the next best thing is to jump on a screen and immerse yourself in that 3D environment that you can control with your mouse or uh, keyboard buttons. And again, we'll, we'll, I'll show you, a or Scott will show you a demo of what that looks like in, in just a moment. What will be like the best way for a student to pick the best program for them? Ah, uh, you know, uh, it depends on the language. There's lots of languages out there. And we don't just cover English. Um, Immerse Me now has, uh, it's got 12 languages, right? Yeah, so we're up to 12 languages uh, that you can choose from and continue to work on them. You don't have to just pick one, which is great when you join uh, one of these immersive apps. Um, uh, and, and as far as the dimensions, that, that was the question, right? That I, I think I answered that, Deanna, yeah? Yes, yes, okay. I did. Sorry, kind of went off <laughs> on a tangent. No, don't worry. Uh, so Scott, thank you for joining us. I would love to know more about your platform, Immerse Me. Can you tell us how it works? Yeah, sure. Deanna, thank you so much. So um, my name is Scott. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Immerse Me. I'm just going to share my screen straight away and um, take you straight into our platform, which is to help immerse students in um, different languages. So Jay mentioned we've got um, these nine languages currently um, displayed on my screen and we're about to release um, three new languages, Arabic, um, Brazilian, Portuguese, and Russian. Um, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you how it all works by actually using it. So let's jump into English. Um, we're gonna scroll down, we're gonna go to a cafe and we're just gonna go order ourselves a coffee. It's just gone morning here in New Zealand. So I'm, um, I'm just gonna have a little morning coffee here. So we've got a kind of a, a conversation and we're gonna essentially role play this out. So I'm gonna go start lesson and then I'm gonna play. And there are a few different learning modes you can choose from and things to help scaffold your learning and um, require the student to become more sort of productive themselves. Um, but to start with, we're gonna give them sort of a lot of support and take them through this, this one sentence at a time. 
Hi, welcome to the Lilo Cafe. What can I get for you? Hello, I would like a coffee, please. Sure, what kind of coffee would you like? All righty, I'm just going to give that a wee pause. So here I can now click and drag the screen around. So I'm doing this on my desktop, which means I have to just use my mouse to control the, the view, the three-dimensional view, but it's actually a full 360 degree uh, environment. So if you've got a virtual reality headset, as Jay mentioned, um, you can pop that on and uh, that way you feel actually truly immersed or um, or present within the, within the situation. He's demonstrating the technology uh, as we speak. And so what we've got here is um, some speech bubbles to help guide the learner. So what she's saying is also written at the top. So if you're a visual learner, you can read what she's saying as well as listen. Um, we support a few different base languages. So I can switch the, the speech bubbles into say Spanish. Um, if I'm a Spanish speaker, native Spanish speaker, just to get an idea of what's being, what's being said um, and what the translations are. Uh, we also have Mandarin Chinese available as well. And we're adding more base languages all the time. And you can kind of slow down the native speaker. It's always intimidating sometimes how fast we uh, speak in our native language. So slow the, use the turtle icon, click play again. Sure, what kind of coffee would you like? And then we can have a look. A cappuccino, please. Would you like sugar in your coffee? That's fine, thanks. Would you like to have it to sit in or to take away? Uh, can I have it to take away, please? That'll be two fifty, please, and that will be with you shortly. Here's your takeaway coffee. Enjoy. And so as you can see, I'm harnessing kind of speech recognition technology. Um, there's sort of an AI um, algorithm going on behind the scenes that transcribes that into text and then matches it with the sentences that we're displaying. But if you're also not sure how a sentence sounds, you can click play audio. Smells delicious. Thank you. Still got slow mode on there. I'll play that back again. Smells delicious. Thank you. So that's for the learner to then listen to that um, and repeat that as many times as they need to to practice. And then when they feel more confident, they can click record. Smells delicious. Thank you. And when they get it right, they get to move on. And that's the end of that particular lesson. So that's kind of the gist of what we're trying to do is drop uh, students into um, real life language learning scenarios and allow them to interact um, with a native speaker kind of in an asynchronous environment, which means it's totally the, up to the student when they want to practice. Um, they're not relying on the, the time um, of their teacher or tutor or classmates. They can jump on and do this um, any time that they have available. Yeah, I think, I think what's really interesting uh, about that is that we search Thai and Mo for uh, a language immersion where you can practice speaking. I mean, I know when I was taking Arabic, the hardest part was the teacher would make up a fake scenario and then the students would have to be, pretend to be somebody. And then uh, we would just struggle because neither of us really could help the other one. Uh, mm. In this situation, you almost get your own video tutor. Mm. So that space that you were in that cafe you just saw you get to practice that 10 times till you can get that pronunciation right and I think that's what's really important about this because uh, learning the language is the hardest part is speaking and responding to a question without feeling embarrassed without looking at somebody's face and feeling like you oh, don't know what to say you know so I think you know th this is one of the best in the world for 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 doing this and the fact that you can do it on a PC, you can do it in the goggle set. And if you're a school, you can actually have this for your whole, whole school, all your students, and be able to track it in the back end and assign different content to those students. So if you're listening to this right now and you're a student and you want this at your school, go talk to your uh, language teacher and say, hey, I heard about this really great program uh, to practice and learn, learn the language that looks a little bit more fun. Um, and if you're a student and you just want to connect with us um, and, and get this all squared away and, and learn, uh, you can go ahead and, and contact us through our Global XR Academy there, and we can enroll you in the class and see if there's anything else you want to add to your language learning experience. So um, yeah, so, uh, if you want to talk about leveling up for a student, practice and immersion, long-term memory retention rather than rote memorization of vocabulary. Exactly. 
Scott, I have a question regarding the level. So for example, I'm beginner in, in Italian, but I'm intermediate in French. Like, could I use the platform for both languages? How, how do the levels work? Yeah, good question. We, so we just split levels into three, make it really simple. So um, when you come into a language, you can um, filter. I'm not sure if you can see this behind the, the Zoom video, but there's a filter up here, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. So um, that allows you to find the most relevant um, lessons that are at the level for you. And obviously every language you go to, you can um, choose which level you wanna look at. So come into Italian, click beginner. Now you can only see basic um, content like counting numbers, days of the week, saying how old your family members are, that kind of stuff that you learn in the first sort of um, few months of a, of a beginner program. Um, and as soon as you're ready to kind of move yourself forward into intermediate, um, or advanced you can at the click of a button and actually teachers have um, sort of an admin account to control um, what you sort of see so they can set up a, a new unit in here with specific lessons for you to, um, to focus on so pretty simple um, it's up to you to kind of interpret uh, what level you're at um, different programs around the world label it in different ways um, European framework use you know a1 a2 b1 b2 etc um, and so we're, we're constantly developing new content um, for different levels and um, and different curricula around the world. Amazing. I love that flexibility. How about the cost? How much is it to use? Yeah, sure. So if you hop onto our homepage, um, there are a couple of different um, sort of time-based um, subscriptions uh, for, for an individual. So I think the, the year-long subscription is um, 300 US dollars for a, for a full year. Uh, and it's kind of like having a, a personal sort of virtual language assistant available to you 24 um, seven to, to practice and, and interact with. So, so there's a couple of shorter term options as well, say three month and, um, and one month. Um, but yeah, you can just pop along to our website. Um, and the longest one is uh, 12 months for $300. Wow. And that's for unlimited use. That's so right. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, can I just use it on my desktop or does it work in other devices? Yeah, it works on um, pretty much every device, actually. So we've built this using um, kind of a web XR framework, uh, which runs it through the browser on your device. So on my laptop, I can use it on Chrome, Firefox, Safari. Um, if I've got a, a, an iPad, I can open it in Safari. Um, on mobile, you can use Android, you can use Chrome, um, uh, and, and Apple, obviously, Safari as well. And, and, um, and then if you've got access to sort of the... The range of virtual reality headsets um, all the way from kind of a mobile powered headset so you'd use your phone as the screen all the way through to sort of the oculus rift oculus go sorry oculus quest as well um, htc vive um, they all have a, an inbuilt browser so you would open up the default browser on that headset um, log into our homepage through our homepage, um, go to a lesson and then when you get to that lesson just on the right hand side uh, where we saw the slow down turtle icon just below that is a virtual reality goggle icon and you tap that and the whole thing will kind of then wrap around you. Um, and that's how you access this, the, the, the VR aspect. But, but like you said, you don't need a, vit, a virtual reality headset. If you've got a, a desktop or laptop or tablet or mobile, um, you can pop in and, and, and get started straight away. That's amazing. I love that you can basically use it anywhere, anytime. So I will be interested to know like, why should a person pick this up versus other apps like why what do you think is like the the difference like why is it best why is it better ah oh, look there's so many great apps out there i mean what we've tried to do is just go straight to you know putting language into context and and allowing you to practice actual real life scenarios and i think um one of the messages i had from a teacher actually um recently uh or pre-covid i should say was um, one of her students, so she was, she was based over in, uh, in Australia, um, <clears throat> and one of her students had, had gone off to, gone off to um, Europe with her family over the Christmas holidays, and, and she got this email from the student saying, Miss, you know, Madame, Madame I, I, I can't believe it, I'm, I'm in France, and, and I'm, I'm using all this language that I learned on Immerse Me, and what you taught me, and it's amazing, and my parents are like asking me to, to order all the food for them, and do all these things, because I know what to do, and, and, and this is, this is incredible. I, I've loved learning French and I can't wait to be in your class again next year. And I think like, for me, that really like, that kind of hit home about what this is all about. You know, there's an application, there's a purpose, there's a, 
there's a reason for actually you know being able to practice language and use it in in the real world um and it's and it's not sort of boring and, and repetitive it's actually fun and interactive so so that's kind of what we're doing i mean there's plenty of other really cool tools out there and um and and for different purposes um and for different style learners um but yeah i think immersion is pretty cool <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and 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 so do we and that and, and scott's working with us on the global xr academy and every one of the enrollments includes immerse me but you also get uh, some other language support, possible tutoring. Uh, we have classes that that uh, take place ever so often for business and engineering English. Um, so basically, you can enroll just with Immerse Me uh, at the Global XR Academy, or you can uh, enroll with a suite of other things too. So um, I'm excited to see where all of this goes. Um, and if you enroll at the Global XR Academy, you get to have a class that you're going through with, and um, so that's exciting too. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Scott, for answering my questions. Uh, I don't know if you have any final thoughts for students who are looking to level up in their language skills. Uh, well, I would just say, um, you know, it's certainly small amounts of effort more often are better than sort of um, mm -hmm. uh, cramming at, at once. And so I think, you know, five or 10 minutes a day um, really starts to add up and, um, and and just enjoy it, you know, like ultimately, you know, you've got your own goals and dreams and 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 thoughts about where you'd want to um, go with your language skills and and focus on 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 those outcomes and focus on on building your confidence and don't see you know learning a language as this giant mountain see it as a series of little little checkpoints and and if you you know can become confident and fluent in the context of certain scenarios that are most important to you then that's that's awesome right and others might want to take it further but um, but just decide what's what you want and what you need and um, and work towards it. Thank you, Scott. And I would say, for the, as far as my advice for leveling up, is do it with a friend, because if you both join Immerse Me, you can compete with a score because you do get a score for as many things that you've done. And if you do it together to learn the language, you're going to be pushing each other. Oh, I saw you didn't. Uh, you didn't get above your uh, 300 last week. So, uh, you know, I would say uh, learn a language with a friend. It brings the social aspect back. Uh, language is meant to be uh, social and engaging and immersive. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, it was great talking to you. And for all the students, if you're interested in finding out more, uh, search for us globalxracademy.org immerse me.com thank you thank you